Okay, today I would just like to talk to you about gardener pistons. And as always, I can't pretend to be an expert. I'm only giving you my, my view. Um, we don't really get an opportunity here to go back beyond 1930. 1929 to be exact, and that's the Gardner L2. We don't really get an opportunity to work on museum pieces. It's generally speaking, working, relatively modern working engines we're dealing with. So I just wanted to take you through some of the things that we need to watch out for in Gardner pistons. So we'll start with the 4LK piston because I think it's probably one of the most variations in it. So we'll start with the 4LK because it's the smallest and then we'll work our way up. Um, this is a genuine Gardner 4LK piston. You'll see it has two compression rings at the top and one oil scraper ring at the bottom. Here's another one. I can't guarantee, in fact I'm pretty sure, that it's not genuine Gardner, but it's a 4LK piston. It's got three compression rings at the top and one oil scraper. Now, I'm really baffled by this one. It appears to have two compression rings in the top slot. You'll see a broken bit of one there. Uh, that's given me a total of, I'm not sure, three or four and then an oil scraper ring down here. Uh, I can't guarantee, in fact, I'm pretty sure again that that's not a genuine Gardner uh, piston. You'll notice with the 4LK that the combustion chamber is offset. It's not in the center. In the other piston, the compression chamber is in the center of the piston. The sad thing, I'm afraid, is that 4LK pistons are no longer available. But of course, we've got some. Now, next one in size is the LW. It's a W piston. Again, it's got four compression rings at the top and one oil scraper ring at the bottom. The LW is four and a quarter inch in diameter and the stroke, the stroke going up and down is six inches. Now, um, a variation on that piston is this one, right? This has got only two compression rings at the top and one oil scraper ring here at the bottom. Again, that's an LW piston, just a different, a different design. You can compare the two there. And as I said, you judge the wear in the piston by this in the rings. Not too much slap in that actually, but I'd say that piston is, um, has had it. Certainly the gudgeon pin has had it. There's, the gudgeon pin is held in place. Sometimes it's a floating gudgeon pin with just this cap on it here. And on other occasions, on other engines, it's a circlip. The circlip in there, right? Those are both LW pistons. Those are both LW pistons. Okay, the bad news is that LW pistons are no longer available. They can be remanufactured in India, but certainly we haven't had the courage yet to do that ourselves. We here have some Gardner pistons, genuine Gardner pistons, but they're plus 30. They are 30 thousandths of an inch bigger than the original standard bow. Now, that's not really a problem. In fact, it can be a cost saving because you can bore out your liner on your engine to take these pistons. So you're saving the cost of having to buy a new liner. You incur the cost of having to get the boring done, but overall I think there's a considerable saving there. You can see that this piston, um, if you look in here, it's got the original whack coating on it. We haven't cleaned that out yet. It's a little bit stained with age, but you can see, look, it polishes up fine with a bit of a bit of elbow grease. Okay, um, what else do we have to say about that? Um, we move on at this stage to the next side up, which is the 
LXB. Now the LXB is four and three quarter bore, four and three quarter this size, and again six inch stroke. <clears throat> you can see that it's considerably bigger than the two, and it's very definitely bigger than the 4LK. Now important things that we have to note again, just pressure rings, one oil scraper and it's held in place by a circuit. Now, what we have to be careful about is that there's two compression ratios. This one is 14 to one. The modern version is 15 to one. It's the same dimensions, same dimensions. Um, I can't say whether it's the same weight or not, um, but it is 15 to one. Now you can get caught out here because you'll see uh, Gardner LXB pistons advertised on eBay and in various places. But you need to be careful, they're very often the old type. It's very easy to tell the difference because you'll see, look, one is silver, natural, aluminium colour, and the other has this black coating on it. These are a super, super job. The disadvantage of the low compression piston is the engine is inclined to be uh, smokier and it takes some longer to warm up and get rid of that smoke. Um, so that's an important consideration. Um, our final item is this brute, the L3B. This is an L3B uh, piston. Again, look, two rings, one oil scraper and the gudgeon pin is simply it's a floating gudgeon pin with a cap on it. A crucial thing on any Gardner engine is that the pistons must all be the same type. You can't mix them. You can't mix them. You can't, certainly cannot put a mixture of compression ratios in the one engine. You're asking for trouble. Even uh, pistons of the same dimensions, you need to make sure that they are the same weight and the same in every respect. In fact, here, if we suspect, if we've got a set of pistons and we have the slightest suspicion <coughs> that, that they're not all consistent in type, we weigh them. We weigh them as accurate as we can and make sure that they're all the same. Now, another interesting point here is that the gudgeon pin, this pin here, is not in the center of the piston. Why? You'd think it would be. The piston's going up and down inside the bore, but the gudgeon pin is a little bit off center. I think it's typically about one mil, which is not very much in, uh, in, the, in the total diameter. Now, the reason for this is easy enough to explain. As the piston's going up and down, because of the stroke of the engine, the piston is inclined to lie against one side of the liner. Are you with me? So it would then be rubbing up and down against the side of the liner, and it would wear the liner more, it would wear the liner more, and it, it, specifically it would learn, wear the liner more on one side. So what designers worked out some years ago is that if they offset the gudgeon pin just a little bit, it counteracted that effect and A, the engines were quieter, they weren't as noisy, and there wasn't as much vibration, and also the bores lasted long. I hope that's clear. What other points do I have to make? Not mixing, very important. The LW, standard LW genuine Gardner pistons are no longer available. You can't use uh, conventional um, pistons in a horizontal engine. The, the pistons in a horizontal engine are specific to the horizontal engine. I need to make sure that you uh, that you order those at the outset. Um, that's a problem that we had when we restored a horizontal uh, 5LW uh, a few months ago. There's a YouTube video out there on that. Okay, I think that's all I have for you really. Just be careful of the LXB uh, piston types. Be aware that LW, genuine LW pistons are no longer available. Uh, one a very important point. If you notice here, it says tap it side. 
when the engine's being built, you have to make sure that the piston is inserted into the engine, this on the tappet side, because of the offset. You, you cannot get them mixed, mixed up. The exact model is up on the top of the piston, so that's a very useful piece of information. Um, that's all I have for you, really. I hope you got something out of that. <laughs>